Welcome to another week of Miss Nicole's Storytime. I am so excited that you're able to join me this week. We have a fun story that has to do with snow and a particularly grumpy bear. But before we get into our story, let's go ahead and do our check-in. So go ahead and take a few seconds and just check in with yourself. How are you feeling today? So remember, we're going to do our number charts. And you know, for me, just like I said, I'm at a zero because I'm always so excited to read to you. So if you're excited, you're at a zero. If you're happy, you're at a one. If you're content, you're at a two. If you're sad, you're at a three. Mm, if you're mad, you're at a four. And if you're frustrated, oh, you're at a five. Now remember, no number is wrong. It's okay to feel how you feel. I just wanna try and at least put a smile on your face by the end. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and go through our story time schedule. We got some fun and different songs that we're gonna be doing today in addition to our silly story. So we're gonna start with our hello song and then we stretch our arms up for our books to the ceiling song. And then we're going to do a new song called The Bear. Then we're going to get up and move and shake our sillies out. And then it'll be time to read our story of the week. And then we're going to do another new song called Where is Bear. And then we're going to get into our clapping song, which is our good books, good time song. And then it'll be time to say goodbye. So we got a full schedule ahead of us. So let's go ahead and get our hello hands out. I can say hello to you and you can say hello to me. And remember, we're gonna do the song twice. Here we go. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I hope that you are too. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I hope that you are too. Good job, friends. Now it's time for our stretching song. So let's go ahead and stretch our arms and hands up in the air for our books to the ceiling song. Here we go. Books to the ceiling, books to the sky. My pile of books is 10 miles high. How I love them, how I need them. I'll have a long beard by the time I read them. All right, friends, so now we're gonna do our new song, which is called The Bear. And this involves using our hands. So here we go, we're gonna follow along and do it together. So here is a cave. So can you make a fist? Make a fist, it's like a cave. Good job. Inside is a bear. So take your thumb, and we're gonna put it inside the cave like this. Now he comes out to get some fresh air. And now we pop the thumb out. He stays out all summer in sunshine and heat. He hunts in the forest for berries to eat. So go ahead and friends, make a circle because he's hunting the forest. He's hunting the forest for all these berries to eat. Good job. When snow starts to fall, he hurries inside his warm little cave and there he will hide. So we gotta get our caves back out and here we go. Ooh. He's hibernating. That's what bears do all winter long. They hibernate, which means they sleep. So they sleep for months and months until winter's over and spring is finally here. That is a very long nap. Snow covers the cave like a fluffy white rug. Inside the bear sleeps, all cozy and snug. So now you're going to take your hand, your other hand, and you're going to cover your fist like the snow covers the cave and our bear is sleeping. 
nice inside. Good job, friends. All right, friends, you know what comes next. Go ahead and find a good spot to move because it is time to shake our sillies out. Gotta shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Wiggle my waggles away. Now we clap, I gotta clap, clap, clap the crazies out. Clap, clap, clap the crazies out. Clap, clap. Clap the crazies out, wiggle my waggles away. Now jump, I gotta jump, 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 jump my jiggles out. Or you can bounce. Jump, 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 Shake my silly tongue, shake, shake, shake my silly tongue, shake, shake, shake my silly tongue, wiggle my waggles away, here we go, shake my waggles away. Good job, friends. All right, friends, now that we have all of our silly shaken out, let's go ahead and settle in and get comfortable as we read our story of the week. So some of you might recognize this bear, and he's a particularly grumpy bear. And in this story, He's really, really grumpy about Christmas. How could you be grumpy about Christmas? Well, let's find out as we read our story of the week, which is Santa Bruce by Ryan T. Higgins. Bruce was a bear who did not like the holidays. I told you. Let's look at our chart. What kind of face is Bruce making? Yeah, I think he's at a four. He used to stay in bed all winter long and skip right through the whole business. Remember we talked about that earlier. Yep, Bruce is hibernating. But his family wanted to enjoy a cozy, snow-filled Christmas together. This is going to be a great Christmas. No migrating, no hibernating, just family. Honk, said the goose. Can you make a goose sound? Bruce was awake. Actually, bears don't hibernate. They spend the winter in a state of lethargy. You're ruining the Christmas spirit. I thought we were spending winter in the state of Maine. Geese had decked the halls. The mice made lots of eggnog. The holiday season was going to be filled with fun and cheer. It looks like fun, huh? Bruce did not like fun. Bruce did not like cheer. Bruce did not like fun or cheer. Bruce also did not like being cold which is why he started wearing long underwear and a warm hat. Hmm, how many of you wear a hat when it's cold out? And then it happened again. Are you Santa? A case of mistaken identity. Bruce did not like mistaken identity. No, I am not. Go away. Oh my gosh, I met Santa. Wait right here while I go get my friends. Wait, I am not Santa. Bruce decided to ignore the problem until it went away. It did not. Did I hear someone knock? Who could it be? We should let them in. No, don't open the door. I don't want all their dirty little feet in my house. Uh-oh. What happened, friends? Did the mouse listen? Mm-mm. Mouse wasn't being a very good listener, huh? Santa! Can you guys say that with me? Santa! Tell them I'm not Santa. And worse. Well, everyone listen up. Single file, no pushing. Santa Bruce has time to see all of you. Who wants cocoa? Soon, word spread. I want 99 red balloons for Christmas. And all the little critters of the forest wanted to visit Santa Bruce. For Christmas, I want world peace. To tell him what they wanted for Christmas. I want a race car. I have been very good this year. Can I please have a power compound miter saw for Christmas? Finally, they all went home and Bruce could grumble in peace and quiet. But not for long. All the parents wanted to thank Bruce for his Christmas spirit. Aw, how nice is that? Bruce tried to tell them that he didn't have any. Bah, humbug. That's when Thistle made an announcement. Bruce wants to say you're welcome and what's more, Santa Bruce is going to deliver presents to all of your kids tonight. 
Oh, do you think Bruce is happy about that? It's a Christmas miracle! And with that, the parents left, shouting out with glee. You guessed it. Bruce did not like glee. Finally, Bruce headed to bed. The mice had other ideas. But what about getting ready for your big night? Yeah, what about the children? Yeah, what's Bruce going to do about that? Bruce put his foot down. I am having nothing to do with this. I will not deliver presents. Besides, you don't have a sleigh. But the mice were persistent. Ta-da! Well, you don't have any reindeer. The geese were helpful. Fine, fine. But there are no presents. And everyone was ready. By the way, what's in the box, crackers? I'm still not going. Please? All you have to do is sit in the sled. We'll give you chocolate eggs. Finally, the grumpy old bear agreed to be Santa Bruce for one night. And everyone was very happy. I think we have too much weight in the sled. Well, almost everyone. This is going to be the best Christmas ever. Someone doesn't look happy. Can you tell me which animal doesn't look happy right now? You guessed it. Bruce. Being Santa Bruce was not an easy job. What's going on here, friends? He gets stuck in the chimney. He burns his backside coming down the chimney. Oh, he trips and falls on the toys. At least he gets to eat some cookies, right? That is not a cookie. That is soap. Uh-oh. Look at the great length Santa Bruce goes to deliver presents to all the kids. If you look below, who do you see? We have Mama Bunny and Papa Bunny and Baby Bunnies and a grown-up bunny who still lives with his parents. And by the time Santa Bruce finally finished, the early morning light was creeping over a white Christmas. So he was up all night, friends. As all the critters of the forest awoke, they found presents waiting for them from Santa Bruce. Yay, crackers, our friends! Bruce had spread the spirit of Christmas all over the forest and brought everyone happiness. So come on friends, all of our animal friends are gonna say Merry Christmas to Bruce. Can you say it with us? Merry Christmas, Bruce! Bruce did not like happiness. He liked sleeping. Bruce's bed would have to wait. So we have our goose friend. And what sound does a goose make? Let's do this every year! I'm sleeping through next Christmas. The end. Well, friends, it just looks like no matter what we do, Bruce is never going to be happy during Christmas. But that's okay. I wouldn't be happy either if someone woke me up if I was supposed to be sleeping for a couple months and I had to stay awake that long. But wasn't that so nice of Bruce to become Santa Bruce for all of the kids? The kids enjoyed it so much and so did the parents. So even though Bruce might have been grumpy on the outside... I think on the inside, he was happy that he was able to make all of his animal friends happy. So in honor of our friend Bruce the Bear, we are going to do another song called Where is Bear? And this is to the tune, Vera Jaca, Vera Jaca, where is Bear? Let's look for Bear. Where is Bear? Here I am. Here I am. How are you this winter? And let's yawn as we say this. Very tired, thank you. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Good job. Now let's go ahead and get into our clapping song, which is our good books, good time song. So let's get a beat. We're gonna start in three two one here we go good books good times good stories good rhymes good beginnings good ends good people good friends good fiction good facts good adventures good acts good stories good rhymes good books good times good job give yourself a round of applause friends all right friends thank you so much for joining me this week as we read the story of santa bruce now let's go ahead and sing our goodbye song bye bye goodbye bye 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 goodbye I can clap my hands, I can stamp my feet, I can clap my hands, I can stamp my feet. Bye bye, goodbye, bye 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 bye, goodbye.
again for joining me this week and we'll see you next week for our story time have a good week